guys and welcome back to Rainbow Inc. Today we are doing another quiz on the Reed Riordan website. We are jumping back in the world of a gifted clans, aka this being the Fallen Moon, the last Fallen Moon quiz, what is your spirit animal. I know I'm beyond late to do this quiz. I wanted to read the book first, which is right here, and I read the book. She's in the underworld, or spirit world. Spirit Realm. If you're curious why I'm wearing red, check out that video up there in, in the card. It also will be in the link description below. It is the very last time we jumped into this world, which was the it was the last Fallen Star quiz, what clan are you? And I got put in the same clan Riley was born into and Smart in. So again that video is in the link description below. If you guys want to check that out and see from what happened last time we jumped into this world. Today we're gonna figure out what is my soul animal pretty much. Soul animals from when the book are what your soul spirit or soul animal is besides your human one. Like what's your inner animal kind of thing. That's how I perceived it. I'm probably explaining that horribly. I apologize. And this quiz will be in the link description below like always so you guys can check it out and see what is your soul animal. And you guys can maybe tell me in the comments below. But today we're going to see what mine is. It's on the Rear Iron website. So let's jump right into the quiz, shall we? All right. Here we are. I'm always gonna gush about the art. It's who I am. I know it's the book cover, but give me a break. I still like it. Yeah, I'm really overdue. <laughs> Mainly, this was supposed to support the The Last Fallen Moon book, so that's why this quiz is here. It's usually why Reed Ride and Steph has the quiz to promote the book, but here we are. The Last Fallen Moon quiz. What is your soul animal by the Reed Ride and Staff? According to The Last Fallen Moon by... I'm gonna mispronounce this. Three AC... Kim. I probably mispronounced that, sorry. Everyone has an animal avatar awaiting them in the spirit realm. So yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier, but this is probably better explained. Not busy, you have died before finding out what it is, but we designed a quiz that will reveal exactly what kind of animal you will be when you inevitably take the trip. Here we go. Pick a favorite color. We have yellow, purple, green, black, orange, pink, blue, and white. I'm gonna go with purple. I like purple. purple was my favorite color. Pick a school subject. We have science, math, English, recess, lunch, history, PE, or choir. Choir, no. PE, no. Is lunch and recess considered subjects? Really? Math and English I wasn't really good at. History I was okay at, but I'm gonna pick science. I like science class. I always like science. Pick an afternoon activity. Theater, rehearsal, play sports, reading, hanging out with friends, binging a new TV show, video games, listening to music, or sleep. I'm torn between video games and reading. But I'm gonna go with reading. What exact, what toxic trait would you get you in trouble with the seven quarts of hell? <laughs> Oh goodness. Ghosting someone after saying, let's hang out soon. Taking over 24 hours to respond to a text. Saying you forgot your wallet after ordering food with friends. Cheating at board games. Taking all the credit for the group project. Talking while well you're in a movie. Neglecting to water your plant. Touching artwork labeled, do not touch. Either the plants or cheating at board games. I don't talk during movies. I don't take group projects. I don't even in group projects anymore. It does take me a while to respond to a text or to call somebody about but it's now over 24 hours. I'm not forgetting my wallet. I'm not that psycho. But I think maybe cheating at working. Pick a city you're dying to visit. New York, Paris, London, not be Seoul, Saint Pablo, Tokyo. Hmm. Is this complicated now? Tokyo would be cool to visit. New York would be cool to visit. Paris and London would be cool to visit. But I think like Tokyo and New York would be way too crowded. If I choose New York, I could probably go to the Empire State Building and ask about the 600th floor. <laughs> get told there is no 600 floor. Paris would be cool to see the Eiffel Tower, but I don't know French. London would be cool to see. I speak English. I love how that's my identifier. So I don't get lost because I don't know languages. I can barely speak Spanish. I'm dying to visit. I'm not dying to visit London, really, so I guess I'll take that off late. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and say Paris. I would like to see the Eiffel Tower. That would be really cool to see. Pick a favorite gen of music. We have hip-hop, dancing, emo, jazz, country, k-pop, step step, or I like all gen- yeah, I'm just gonna go over here. <laughs> Yell at me. It's fine. What do you want for your birthday? A huge party with friends and family, a giant cake, a trip to the sea, a day off, someone to notice me for once? That's super sad. I really don't need anything special. New clothes, lots of money. 
Party, no. Who annoys me for once? It's super sad rewired and stuff. Anyone from the rewired staff is what? Watching this? You're probably not, but that's pretty sad, dude. That's pretty sad. Do you need a hug? What's going on? Giant cake. I guess I really don't need anything special. I know that's cop out, but come on. Okay, what do you need to pick up at the store today? New shoes, chips, popcorn, cookies, makeup, shampoo and conditioner, deodorant, headphones, new plants, or protein power. Is new plants circling back to forgetting to water your plants? I'm gonna say the snack. What is your dream job? Doctor, lawyer, author, pro athlete, therapist, professional peddler. Is that really a job? What the heck? Influencer or professional singer? I never wanted to be a doctor. Never wanted to be a lawyer. I thought about being an author when I was in sixth grade. Pro athlete, not that good. Don't want to hug random strangers because that's a little weird. Therapists I don't like. When I was really younger, I wanted to be a singer. Didn't happen. So I guess, I guess that's what I'm doing now. So. Oh my god. <laughs> You're a butterfly. You're beautiful, but possibly a little too fragile and sensitive for your own good sometimes. I'm a beautiful butterfly. I'm sorry, I had to make that joke. I'm just sorry when that happened. So I'm a butterfly. Would I be a big butterfly or would I be a little butterfly? How does that work? I never understood that in book. I don't know what I'm on today, but that's fun. I'm a butterfly. Gosh. Okay, so supposedly I'm a butterfly. I'm a beautiful butterfly. Not again. We're not doing this again. I laughed for five minutes off camera because of that joke. And all the jokes I made during that last bit, it probably is getting cut off. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy. Again, the quiz will be in the language version below. Tell me what you got. Tell me if you got a butterfly as well, or if you got something cooler or something worse. I don't know what's worse than a butterfly. There's not really something worse. Who knows? So we're going to and stop. Anyways, guys, please make sure to like and subscribe and all that beautiful jazz. Last video right there. Subscribe a you know, playlist of other quizzes that I've done are up there, and it'll also be in the link description below if you guys want to check that out. Again, the last Fallen Star quiz is in the link description below if you guys want to check that out, and with this and everything else, and I'll see you guys next time here on my link. Bye!